In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the ultimate guide on getting the best FPS possible in Roblox. I'm going to be showing you guys how to stop stutter, reduce lag, and also input latency to give you smooth and high performance gameplay. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that your computer or laptop is on high performance mode. And to do that, all you need to do is go to search and type in panel. Then you're going to see control panel, click on it, then go to hardware and sound and then power options. You're gonna go ahead and select the high performance. If you don't see this option, you're gonna create a power plan and then select high performance, then give it a name. Once you've selected your high performance, you're then gonna go into the search bar and type in advanced. Under system, you're gonna see view advanced system settings. You're gonna go under performance and go to settings. Then you're gonna adjust for best performance. You're gonna turn on these options, which is show thumbnail instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. Apply and OK. Next, what we're going to be doing is setting Roblox to run on our GPU or integrated graphics. To do that, all you need to do is go to search, type in graphics, click on graphic settings. Under default settings, you're going to go to change default settings. You're going to make sure that these two options are on. Then we're going to go back and we're going to scroll down. You're going to look if you see Roblox here. If you don't, we have to find the main game directory for Roblox. To do that, you're going to go to search. You're going to type in Roblox. You're going to right click, open file location, right click again on Roblox player and open file location. And this is the main directory for Roblox. What you're going to do is go in the top part, which is the directory in an empty space, click on it and it should highlight everything here. You're going to right click and copy. You're going to close the folder. And then here, you're going to go to where you see browse. You're going to go into the empty space, click on it, delete everything and control V what you just copied. Press the arrow and it's going to lead you to the directory for Roblox. You're going to go ahead and select the Roblox player, which is this one right here. It should be the one that has the largest kilobytes. Click on it and then add. As you can see, it's right here. We're then going to go to options and scroll down to where you see high performance, select that and press save. And that's how you make Roblox run on high performance. The next step is to turn on gaming mode on your PC. To do that, you're going to go back to search and then you're going to type in game mode. You're going to see game mode settings and you're going to select it and then make sure that this is turned on. Next, we're going to disable full screen optimization for Roblox. To do that, you're going to go back to search and you're going to type Roblox. You're going to right click open file location, right click properties, then go under compatibility, scroll down to where you see change high DPI settings and make sure that you have this checked and system selected. Then OK, apply and OK. Now we're going to be clearing up some RAM on our PC so that it can be used for Roblox. To do that, you're going to go to search, you're going to type in run, you're going to open it, and then in the run, you're going to type percent percent Press OK and it's going to open up a folder. You're going to select everything in the folder and you're going to delete it. Don't worry, all of these files are temporary so it won't affect your PC. As you can see, I have 2 gigs worth of stuff to delete. For the things that cannot be deleted, you're going to click this box and skip. Once that is done, you can close the folder. Next, we're going to go back to run and this time we're going to type prefetch. Press OK and you're going to delete everything in this folder again. Next, we're going to go back to search and type in msconfig. It's going to open up the system configuration. You're going to go to boot and then go to advanced options. Under the number of processors, you're going to click on it and press all the processors that you have. I have eight, so I'm going to select eight. Then OK, apply and OK. It might ask you to restart. You can, but because I'm making this video, I'll restart later. The final thing that we need to do is to update our graphics driver. I'm using AMD, so I'm going to right click on my display and go down to my AMD software. Once you're on your software, you're going to go where you see check for updates, click on it and it's going to check. If everything is good, it should be up to date. Now we're going to be launching Roblox. Alright guys, so once you're in the game, if you take a look at my FPS, which is in the top left corner, you can see that I'm averaging over 200 FPS, almost 200 and about 80. If I go and go to settings, 
and scroll down to graphics and turn down my graphics you can see that i'm getting upwards to 4 350 400 fps which is absolutely crazy so that's how you get a ton of fps in roblox guys it's pretty simple just follow through with the video and you will be good